So notice that everything in this parentheses is raised to this power and this power is itself negative. So that means everything in here is under kind of like the spell of the rat of the exponent here. So because it's negative, we're going to drop everything below and we're going to make it negative 125 to the positive one third. The negative comes with it because it's in parentheses and, and the one third, a negative one third exponent applies to the whole thing. So you drop the whole thing down, make it a positive exponent. And then we know that one third power means negative 125 is a cube root. Cube root goes uh, there because that's a one third power. And you might say, well, wait a minute, I thought we couldn't do radicals of negative numbers. Well, it is true that if you take the square root of a negative number, it, it's, the answer is not real, it's an imaginary number. But this is not a square root, it's a cube root. And the cube root of negative numbers does exist. And let's see how you know that is the case. So if this were just a positive 125, the way that you would write it is you would say five times five times five. 5 times 5 times 5, because this is 25, and then 25 times 5 is 125. But this isn't quite right because you have a negative there. But if it's negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 under this factor tree, they all multiply together. Think, think of it this way. Negative times negative is positive, but then positive times negative makes it negative again. So this times this times this actually does equal negative 125, and that's why it does exist. And so what you're going to get is 1 over negative 5, or if you want to be better about it, write it as negative one-fifth with the negative sign just kind of sitting out in the front there. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.